The following is a video presentation on the proper use of the MLT3401 mainline tap tool. It is designed to make the operation of your MLT3401 easy and efficient. The MLT3401 is designed to tap into pressurized pipe systems by directly inserting a 3 quarter inch or 1 inch corporation stop or tapping through a 3 quarter to 2 inch saddle mounted corporation stop. It is capable of tapping water lines up to 250 PSI. The cutter or drill is rotated by a 7 8 inch hand ratchet or can be operated by an air ratchet or a right angle drill. The MLT3401 comes equipped with a chain mount for cast iron and ductile iron. A PVC mounting strap is also available. Before assembling or operating the MLT3401, be sure to read the operator's manual. Safety instructions are located in the front of the manual. Read and understand all the safety and operating instructions before operating the MLT-3401. Read all labels on the MLT-3401. For your convenience, it is divided into the following segments so you can quickly find what you need. Planning the tapping operation. Direct tap procedure. Drilling through saddle mounted corporation stops. Special procedures including attaching the PVC strap assembly, using the PVC strap mount, tool holder and chamber cap removal. Planning the tapping operation. Before operating this tool, determine exactly what needs to be tapped into. Ensure that it is indeed the pipe that requires tapping. Warning. Do not exceed pressure and temperature ratings of the tool and any attachment, valve, or fitting. Only tap into lines that contain water and are below 250 PSI. Warning! Cutting into pipe containing liquids under pressure is potentially hazardous. Correct procedures must be followed in the use of this equipment to maintain a safe working environment and prevent serious personal injury. No person should use this tool who is not fully trained in the proper operating procedure and who is not fully aware of the potential hazards connected with working on pipe containing liquids under pressure. Before you begin, you will need the following equipment. Mainline tap machine, valve chamber, ratchet wrench, drill tap, two spud wrenches, corporation stop, corporation stop insertion cap and a 5 16th inch hex. Also large and small rubber gaskets, saddle mount and tapping compound. Ensure all the equipment is clean and in good operating condition. Warning! Direct tapping into transites or asbestos mains is not recommended. This will produce poor quality threads and a weak connection. Select which corporation stop is to be used. See your operator's manual for more details. For this demonstration, we will be inserting a 3 quarter inch corporation stop into a 6 inch cast iron water main. Direct tap procedure. Ensure the chamber cap and tool holder are assembled to the MLT3401. Select the correct saddle, combination drill tap and corporation stop insertion cap from chart 1 in your operator's manual. The flow diagram in chart 2 will assist in determining the required equipment to perform the tap. It is important to choose the proper size and style cutter for the specific type of corporation stop and main being used. Inspect all drill taps prior to use. Clean the surface of the pipe to be tapped into. Check to see the gasket is in good condition and place on the pipe. Next. Mount the correct size saddle to the gasket. Finally, insert the small rubber gasket into the saddle. Attach the valve chamber to the main. Install the chain around the main and rotate the chamber to the desired angle you wish the corporation stop to be installed. Tighten the bolts evenly on both sides of the chamber to ensure that the unit is secure.
Install the correct size drill tap into the tool holder and tighten the screw on the side with the 5 16 inch hex wrench. Warning! Be sure that the screw is tight to prevent the drill tap from separating from the tool during the tap. Apply tapping compound to the drill and tap sections of the drill tap. Note, it is recommended that a tapping compound be used during the tapping operation. Placing water in the chamber before beginning the drilling operation will also help lubricate the drill tap and keep the cutter cool. To tap into the main, fully extend the drive shaft and lock the shaft by inserting the drive pin through the lowest available hole in the shaft above the thrust collar. Check that the gate lever is in the open position. Attach the MLT3401 to the chamber and engage the valve chamber cap locking pin by rotating the cap clockwise. The locking pin must snap into position. Be sure the feed barrel is at the top of its feed. Remove the drive pin and gently lower the shaft until the drill tap comes in contact with the main. Note, drill tap should not be dropped onto the main. The impact of the drill against the CIDI may cause the hardened drill to chip. Drill tap should be stored in their protective containers when not in use. Raise the shaft slightly, if required, and lock the shaft into position by inserting the drive pin through the thrust collar at the nearest available hole in the shaft. Turn the feed barrel clockwise to advance the cutter towards the main. When the drill tap contacts the main, back up one half turn. You are now ready to start drilling. Using a ratchet wrench or power tool, rotate the drive shaft while advancing the feed barrel until the drill tap has come into contact with the main. Keep a firm, even pressure on the feed barrel while continuing to rotate the drive shaft. Warning! When using a power tool to drive the MLT3401, understand and follow all safety instructions associated with the power tool. Air power ratchets are generally a safer choice due to the inherent explosion and shock hazards associated with electrical tools. Only use a ratchet wrench when drilling into PVC mains. Grounded electrical tools should be plugged into a properly grounded outlet. Electrical tools should be plugged into an outlet protected with a ground fault circuit interrupter or GFCI. Use only right angle electrical drills or air ratchets to rotate the cutter. Only use power tools that operate below 100 RPM. Note, do not apply too much pressure on the cutter. The tool must be fed at a controlled rate. Gentle feeding produces superior cutting and extended cutter life. Continue to drill until no resistance is felt in advancing the sleeve. Stop turning the drive shaft. Caution! Drilling into the pipe is now complete. The valve and tool are now under pressure. Continue rotating the feed barrel until resistance is felt. The tapping portion of the drill is now in contact with the pipe. At this point, move the equalizing valve knob briefly to the bleed position to remove the chips. After flushing the chamber, back the knob up to the drill equalized position. You are now ready to start tapping. Warning! Do not use power tools when tapping. Only use the ratchet wrench. While holding the threaded portion of the drill tap firmly in contact with the pipe, turn the shaft three or four times and the feed barrel accordingly to engage the tap. When satisfied that the tap has started, remove the drive pin and rotate the feed barrel clockwise to the bottom of its travel. Warning! If the tap has not engaged the main, the drive shaft may rapidly extend when the pin is removed. Proceed to tap the pipe by rotating the drive shaft until the tapping mark that is located on the drive shaft reaches the top of the thrust collar.
The tap is now complete. Carefully rotate the feed counterclockwise while firmly holding the top of the drive shaft until the drill tap is removed from the hole. Warning! The drive shaft may rapidly extend when the drill is freed from the hole. Carefully pull the drive shaft to the fully extended position. Rotate the feed barrel counterclockwise to the top of its feed. Place the drive pin through the bottom hole in the drive shaft. Close the gate by turning the gate lever to the closed position. Move the equalizing valve to the neutral position and wait a few seconds until the water stops. If the water does not stop, check the gate lever and make sure it is closed before proceeding. Remove the MLT3401 from the chamber. This is done by lifting the locking pin on the top of the chamber cap and turning the cap counterclockwise. Loosen the screw holding the drill tap in the tool holder and remove the drill tap by using the release nut on the tool holder. A quick, sharp turning motion of the release nut is required. Attach a corporation stop insertion cap to the corporation stop. Check to ensure that the corporation stop is closed. Pipe sealant may be applied to the inlet end of the corporation stop at this time. Attach the corporation stop and insertion cap to the tool holder. Mount the MLT3401 back onto the chamber, ensuring that it is locked into position. Move the equalizing valve to the drill equalize position to pressurize the chamber. After waiting 5 to 10 seconds for the pressure to equalize, Open the gate valve lever by hand. Caution! Forcing the gate lever open 